Welcome back everyone. In this video, let's take a look at formatting our code with Prettier, which is an opinionated code formatter. If you've been working with a team, you know that formatting code consistently can be a pain. Some might use spaces over tabs, some prefer semicolons while some do not, and the list is never ending. Having a difference of opinion is not bad, but lacking consistency is definitely not good. With Prettier, as a team, you can come up with a formatting style guide that will automatically be applied to all the files in your project. Let's see how to set up Prettier. Step 1. Install the Prettier VS Code extension. You can see that I already have it installed. Step 2. Install the necessary packages as a dev dependency. So run the command yarn add dash d prettier eslint hyphen config hyphen prettier and eslint hyphen plugin hyphen prettier. Here prettier is the core prettier library. Eslint config prettier disables eslint rules that might conflict with prettier formatting and ESLint plugin prettier, which runs prettier as an ESLint rule. Once all the packages are installed, we can define the configuration file. In order to configure prettier, a .prettierrc.js file is required at the root project directory. So let's create that file. .prettierrc.js now there is quite a bit of code that goes within this file, which is why, again, I'm going to copy paste the content to save us some time. You can find the code in my GitHub repo. All right, let me briefly go over this configuration file. Again, this is a personal preference and you can by all means add or remove any prettier configuration. I've set semicolon to false, single code usage to true, print width of 80 columns, tab width is 2, and end of line is auto. I've also enforced single code to be true and JSX single code to be false. You can refer to prettier documentation for all the available settings you can specify in the configuration file. Now for the next step, we need to update the eslint config file. To the extents list, we're going to add prettier and plugin colon prettier slash recommended. For the final step, let's add an npm script so as to format our entire project by running a command in the terminal. So in package.json, I'm going to paste the script. The script is format and what it's going to do is run prettier and fixing each of the files if there are formatting issues and the files to pick are all the files within the source folder which end with the extension js, jsx, ts, tsx, json, css, scss and markdown. Once we have the script in place in the terminal we can run the command yarn format. When the command completes you can see the list of files that were formatted. All of them also appear in the source control tab as there were file modifications. What I also recommend is visit the user settings, which is control comma and set format on save to true. So anytime you save a file, the code will be automatically formatted. For example, in app.tsx, if I define const name is equal to Vishwas but with double quotes and save the file, the file is formatted and double quotes are converted into single quotes because of the configuration we have defined in the prettier rc.js file. Now if the autosave feature doesn't format the document, Make sure you hit command shift P or control shift P, click on format document and select prettier as the code formatter. So that is about code formatting. 
Both linting and formatting are something you simply should not skip when setting up a project. Hopefully, you now have an idea of how to do that for React and TypeScript. In the next video, let's build on this concept of linters and formatters to add checks when committing code. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.